Hey, Dr. George Burroughs here from iloveseraland.com and the Seraland Area Chamber of Commerce. Let me ask you a question. How would you like to have this type of engagement on a post that you put on your Facebook page? Uh, what I mean by that is, look, this, this post here got over 29,000 people reached, meaning over 29,000 people actually saw this post. Over 400 people liked it. 250 people have shared it and over a hundred people have left comments that's a lot of engagement and for a business that could be worth uh, a lot of money in the sense that people are finding out about you well there's a, a simple formula that I use to write posts like this that uh, has proven to be very effective and I want to break this formula down into two parts uh, the first part is the image that you use and the second part is the copy or, or the words that you write that go with the image. So you've got the, the image and you've got copy. So let's look at the image. A successful or an engaging image on Facebook is going to do one of two things. It's either going to represent something that people want or it's going to solve a problem that they have. In this picture here, on this post, this is just simply a, a represents something people would want. People in the Sutherland area know this restaurant from Mobile. They want something like this here. They say, yeah, I would want that. Uh, another post would be, I've, I've got a good friend of mine. He does excellent work with uh, bathrooms and floors, tiles. He's a tile guy. He's great. He posts a picture of his work. He's not even in the picture. He just shows his finished product. People see that and they say, I want that, and they reach out to him. So one way uh, to help your business and get a, a popular post is to put an image that represents something people want. Another type of image would be one that solves a problem that the, a person might have. Uh, for example, I'm a chiropractor. If I had a picture of me adjusting somebody and... I had a caption with it, can this relieve headaches, question mark? Or if you are a hairstylist um, with a picture and a caption, better hair in four days, question mark. Uh, I like the use of, of questions. People really respond to that. So anyway, you want to use an image that either uh, represents something people want or solves a problem that they have. And then in the copy, the words that go with the picture, you, you just simply want to reiterate what the, what the image is saying. For example, on this post here, we say, you know, how would a restaurant like this do in Seraland? Question. Well, that gets people, people want to answer questions. You might um, ask a question about your product or service. And just put that above the image. People will respond. You don't have to write a whole lot. In fact, probably the less you write, the better. Uh, please feel free to attend the workshop at the Sarah Lamb Chamber next Tuesday, October 18th at noon, where we're going to go much more in depth of, with this and with Facebook in general. All right, thanks for watching this, and I hope to see you there.